everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn hand-drawn illustrations into cut files. So usually I use my pen tool to create illustrations um, when I'm trying to make cut files, but today I'm actually going to just be using some hand-drawn sketches that I did. So let's get started. As you can see here I've uploaded a picture of the sketches that I did earlier today and um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the image trace tool and if you don't have the tool you can go to window and then go down to image trace and select it. So with my image selected I'm just going to hit the preview button. And give it a minute and there you see it traced out all my images in black and white. I have it set to black and white at the moment. Um, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the details on it. Depending on how thick you want your lines you can play with the threshold. You can up it if you want them to be a little bit thicker and darker. But I think I'm going to keep it down a little bit. Maybe about right there. Then with that still selected I'm going to go to Object, Image Trace and then hit Expand. And now it outlined all of my shapes and put them all into a group. As you can see over here in my layers panel, if I expand this you can see all of my little shapes are now combined into one group. Okay, so I'm going to move this over here for now. I'm actually going to have a colored background just to add some contrast and make it a little bit easier to see. <clears throat> I did a couple different kinds of, well I did a bunch of different kinds of drawings, but I tried to do some that were a little bit more simple and some that were um, a little bit more complex just for some diversity. And we'll just do a few of these. Uh, we'll start here with one of the simpler ones. And I'm just going around this with um, the lasso tool. And you can click over onto the uh, lasso tool in your toolbar or just hit uh, Q as a shortcut. So I've selected uh, my little laurel that's over here. I'm going to copy it, Command C. I'm going to paste it over here. Make it bigger so you can see the details in it. Cool. So some of these shapes are leaves and some of them are supposed to be spaces. So this one right here is supposed to be a space, so I'm actually going to delete it. It didn't do anything because there's actually um, a like a full shape behind it too so I have to click that space again and then hit delete again to get rid of that shape so I'm going to hit I'm going to delete this area too that's also supposed to be a negative space and then there you go so I just want this all to be one shape I'm gonna make it I'll make it this green color there we go now we have a nice cool organic looking shape um, make that'll make a really fun cut now if I still if I select everything you can see I still have a whole bunch of tiny little paths we obviously don't want that when we're cutting and so I'm going to go over to my pathfinder tool and I'm going to hit unite after hitting unite you can see that it made it into a single compound path there we go. I have a cool little laurel shape over here that I can use later on. Um, I'm going to do another simple one. Once again using the lasso tool. I'm just going to select this little laurel shape as well. Hit copy, command C, paste, command V. Okay, and so with this one, I want to do something just a little bit different. I'm going to take, um, so my black outlines are conveniently already one compound path. I'm going to move these to the top. And all the white space, so I'm going to select and then hold shift and select the black part. So that it's only selecting the white shapes. And you can tell it's only selecting the white shapes because when I did that, um, my little color here I'll change to white. See, I'll do that one more time. So I'm going to select everything, hold shift, and then hit my black outlines. And there you go. You can see that I'm only selecting white shapes now. And I'm going to merge those again. So unite. I guess that's the proper term for it. 
And I'm going to have this be two layers. So I'm going to make this yellow, make this red. And there we go. So when this cuts, this will actually cut on two pieces of paper. And that way we have this um, background shape and this uh, outline shape on top of it. And it'll look pretty cool. It doesn't matter that much um, what colors you choose to use in this part of the process. Uh, obviously, whatever paper or other material you choose to use um, will determine the color in the end. Okay, let's do a couple more. Um, I'm going to take... I'm going to do this one. Okay, once again, I have a shape here that I don't want. I'm going to get rid of it right here too. And every drawing is different. It just kind of depends on which parts you want to keep and which parts uh, you don't. Um, it's really up to you, and depending on how you draw it um, will determine also how it's going to end up. And the more you do this, the more you'll figure out exactly which uh, pieces of your drawing you want to cut out and which pieces you want to to unite together. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this shape and I actually want some of these little lines to be cut out. So I'm going to go through and delete some of them. And as you can see it's making holes in the white shape which I think is going to look cool. We'll see. And I'm just going to take the rest of them, select them, merge them together. I have a couple little weird shapes right here I don't want. I'm just going to get rid of those by using my white arrow tool and then hitting delete. Okay. So there we go. I have my little flower and leaf shape there. And let's do, let's do one more. And this one I drew really close to the other one, so let's see if I can do this in one shot. Nice. Way to go. All right. Hopefully as I do this, it starts making sense. So for this one, I think I want, um, I think I want just a few of the, the black lines. I want these leaf lines cut out for sure. Hold on, let me zoom in and make sure I'm getting the right shapes. Okay. And I actually think I only want a few of these pieces of my thistle cut out. Not all of them. We'll see. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay. Moment of truth. Get rid of this saw that showing up. You can always kind of see when weird things show up when you have it selected and you can see all the little points. So I don't want that because your Cricut's going to read these or your silhouette is going to read these little um, marks as cut marks and I don't want that. I don't want a re weird random cut happening in the middle of my cute thistle. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks really cool. That looks really cool. Okay. All right, so I've got some cool little shapes here, got some cool things going on, and I think I'm ready to upload them to Design Space. So let's do it. So let's get this file prepped. I'm going to get rid of all of my extra stuff. Get rid of this. 
uh, get rid of my background. Make sure any groups I have aren't a bunch of weird stuff. No, it's just the two layers that I want, so that's good. Okay, then I'm just going to save this as an SVG. I'll just call this flowers SVG. Save it. Go to design space. Upload a new project. There it is. Okay. Okay. So everything seems to have come in pretty nicely. Um, you can see where all the black outlines are, where the cuts are going to happen. Everything looks good. And if these were the colors I want, and um, then I could just send this to, to cut and it'd be ready to go. Like I said, the colors don't matter too much. I could still cut this this out on the purple paper. Um, the only difference it might make is when you're cutting. If you want um, certain shapes to be on the same cutting mat, you'll just want to make sure to match the colors. Um, so if I decided I didn't want this to be the same color, I could just change it to something different and I'd make sure that these didn't end up on the same cutting mat. What I really like about this method is that you can get really cool organic looking shapes that, that are kind of harder to create with a pen tool. The pen tool is really great for creating nice smooth shapes or straight lines, but when you really want to get <clears throat> cool intricate little edges and ridges that look hand drawn, there really is no other way to go than to do it by hand. So have fun sketching up some new designs and turning them into awesome cut files. See you next time.